Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen. Today we got a very interesting uh, coding challenge uh, from LitCode Maximal Network Rank. So uh, we will try to involve graph uh, and additional logic to improve upon uh, our recent implementation. So trust me, by the end of this video, you are going to feel like a coding ninja. So let's dive in. All right. So let's first understand the problem. We are given a number uh, and representing cities and a list of roads uh, connecting uh, those uh, cities. So each city is represented by an uh, integer index and the uh, goal is to determine the maximal network rank between two cities and the network rank of two cities is defined uh, as the total number of direction connected uh, roads to uh, both uh, cities. So uh, given this uh, example uh, on the screen, uh, so uh, optimal solution is four and why? Because uh, city zero and city one have total of four connections. So one, two, three, and four. And also we are counting uh, this particular road uh, just once, so not twice. So now when we understand the problem, uh, how to uh, solve it. So we will uh, compute the number of roads uh, connected to each city and find the city with the maximum and second maximum roads. So then we will calculate their uh, combined network round. So uh, sounds simple, right? So let's get into uh, coding. So first, we will create a, a list called a degree to store uh, the number of roads connected to each uh, city. So calculate the degree for each city and it will be degree equals zero times n and for u v in roads degree u plus one and degree V plus one as well. So now uh, identify the highest and second highest degree. So sorted degree will be sorted, sorted set degree and reverse true and max degree will be sorted degree zero. And uh, if there is no second max degree, only one unique degree, then set to zero. So second max degree will be sorted degree one if len of sorted degree greater than one, else zero. And now count cities with the highest and second highest degree. Uh, okay, so uh, now we need to identify the uh, cities with the highest and second highest road connected. So we did it, and we will do this uh, by uh, yeah we did it by uh, sorting uh, the list and picking. Uh, position uh, zero and position one. So the top two values will give us the maximum uh, and second maximum uh, degree. And if there is only one uh, unique degree uh, in our cities, uh, our second uh, max degree should default to zero. And uh, this is a, a key uh, edge case. And then uh, let's uh, continue. So uh, now, if there is more than one uh, city uh, with the highest degree, we need to check how many of them are directly connected. So this is uh, crucial for our uh, final uh, computation. So uh, max count will be degree count max degree and second max count will be degree count 
second max degree. And if there are multiple cities with the highest degree, then if max count greater than one, directly connected will be sum one for uv in roads if degree v equal max degree and degree v equal max degree and possible connections will be max connections time uh, max count uh, divided without remainder by two and if possible uh, connection equals direct connected then return two times max degree minus one and return two times max degree in other case and now final so if there is only one city with the highest degree uh, so uh, the combined network rank of two cities with the same degree uh, would be then uh, two times degree minus one only if all such cities are, are directly uh, connected otherwise uh, it's just uh, two times degree and finally if there is only one city with the highest degree uh, we will check if uh, its connection uh, with the cities having the second highest uh, degree so let's implement it direct connection to second sum one for uv in roads if degree u degree v in max degree second max degree and second max degree max degree and if second max count uh, direction connect to second and return max degree plus second max degree minus one and return max degree plus second max degree okay so this is our implementation uh so let's run it to for se some simple test cases uh, so yeah all good and it's working correctly so now let's run it for unseen test cases so hopefully it will run uh, and yeah all good and our implementation beat 99% uh, with respect to runtime and also 99% with respect to memory so it's quite efficient and uh, also uh, much faster than naive a brute force uh, approach uh, yeah I have also solution uh, for brute approach uh, and uh, for this uh, with test cases edge cases so uh, yeah awesome uh, it works perfectly and now for those of you interested in solution in other programming languages like go rust uh, and c++ uh, I will provide implementation in the uh, video description below and thanks for tuning in uh, I hope you found this session uh, insightful and if you did don't forget to smash the like button share and subscribe for more uh, coding session and remember coding uh, is about getting the right answer uh, but also about uh, understanding the problem and crafting uh, the solution optimally because uh, it's very important to understand the problem and if you have time try to uh, optimize it and also have you in your toolkit uh, optimize uh, solution as well so uh, keep practicing happy coding and see you next time